I'm Ellen Priest and I'm the publisher of the Journal Scene and we are co-sponsoring this debate with the Chamber of Commerce and I will be your moderator for the evening. Um, we received many, many questions from um, the public for this, some of which we could use and some, some were more targeted to a particular candidate. We tried to stay away from those type questions and be more general race questions. So if you sent in a question and it's not used, that may, may be the reason that it wasn't. Um, let's go over the rules first. Candidates will be given two minutes at the start of their races scheduled time slot to make an opening statement and two minutes at the end of their races scheduled time slot for closing remarks. Questions will be asked of each candidate by the moderator. The moderator may at his or her, excuse me, her discretion, yield to another can individual to ask one or, or a series of questions. Each candidate will be allowed to respond to each question and a two minute time limit will be imposed on each answer. Rebuttals will be given a one minute time limit. Order will be determined alphabetically and then we'll alternate the questions. The moderator will have ultimate discretion on timekeeping. In the event one or more of the candidates for a race does not appear, the remaining candidates will be provided an opportunity to make both their opening and closing remarks as well as the opportunity to answer all questions prepared for their particular race. Charlie Cuzel, who is the public policy chair for the uh, chamber, is going to be our timekeeper this evening. And Charlie, if you'd show them the, what they'll be seeing throughout the evening, he has a one minute warning, <laughs> a 30 second warning, and then when you hit the time expired, it, your two minutes is up and, and you need to stop speaking. <laughs> our first race this evening is going to be the sheriff's race. So, Elsie, um, if you would go up here and sit down.